Greetings, this is Ghostcom from the Ghostcom Uplinks, marketing director for the 8th Expeditionary. Our patriarch Feck has granted me exclusive access to an awesome ship from one of our fleet hangars, so I'll be taking you on a walk through this fine ship. The Freelancer has a variant list covering a large area of capabilities and roles. This is our chance to walk through the Freelancer Miss. Before we get into the walkthrough, it should be said that because the game is in alpha, there are many things that will most likely be changed when the game goes live. Also important to note, there are currently many discrepancies between the documentation for the ships and the actual game models. I'll do my best to outline the glaring differences while covering the unique features of this variant that stand out from the other models. We'll start with the interior and the first major defining feature of the MIS. The MIS is a militarized version of the Freelancer and was built to carry a payload of missiles but still have the ability to double as a cargo ship in times of need. The cargo bay is outfitted with a missile replenishing system on both left and right walls of the bay that load the missile launchers on the dorsal section. The stock MIS comes with two reload packs that hold 10 size 2 missiles on each side. It can be upgraded with two more 10 missile racks. This brings the MIS to a maximum missile capacity at 50 size 2 missiles and 6 size 3 missiles. That's two size 2 missiles loaded in the launcher chambers, two in the cradles, three size 2 on each wing, and 40 size 2 in the racks, plus a 6 size 3 on the wings. This sets the MIS apart from most available ships in the game as far as firepower is concerned. When the ship is not carrying missile racks, it still loses cargo space to operator room, which is the area from the airlock door to this console. To put it in perspective, the ship loses this space for the console, while the rest is available for cargo. This is an airlock with a docking hatch above. Located above the sink is a gesture sensor that activates two consoles, left and right, in the living quarters. The quarters include a lavatory, which also doubles as a shower. Quarters include four bunks, two that are currently mountable. The Freelancer standard controls are present in the cockpit, pilot, co-pilot, and two substations. There aren't many blind spots for the pilot in the co-pilot position. You're surrounded by glass, even from the top. The nose of the mist shares a feature with the Dur version. People have been guessing its purpose with theories ranging from shield generators to sensors involving alien tech. And of course, one of my favorites, the hidden chinchilla gun. The wing on this side of the ship shows 5 size 2 missiles and 1 size 3 missile under the wing. My guess is this is a placeholder missile setup. All the Freelancers have the same stock engine that are mounted in a pivotal wing configuration for both maneuverability and atmospheric landing assistance. This side of the wing have the missiles off the mounts. There are large empty mounts under the wings. I'm hoping these are for fuel pods or torpedoes. Here's the external view for the docking hatch. The standard Freelancer and the Miss share an almost exact silhouette, but are distinctly different than the Dur and the Max. 
One of my favorite features of the Freelancer line are the automated waste turrets. When you run out of the 56 missiles, you have the exact armament as a Freelancer standard to fall back on. I personally don't consider this a problem, but to each their own. This is the dorsal missile launcher, fed by the replenishing system. They're currently locked in the firing position inside the hangar module. The rear turret is the same stock model you receive in the standard Freelancer, a stock feature currently not available for the Dur or the Max, despite the models in-game showing a turret mounted for each. This concludes our walkthrough. I want to thank you for joining me. I'd also like to thank Feck for granting us access to this ship, which I hope will develop for the better when the game goes live. Take care and have fun. This is Ghostcom, logging off.